Howdy folks, it's your friend and mine, Effing Controller. We're playing Silent Hunter 3 again, again. And uh, we're going to be starting patrol number 4 today after a very successful patrol 3. Um, wherein we, well, we sank a lot of stuff and I think we ruined Christmas or something. I don't know what was going on with that part of the introduction to that patrol, but um, just pretend it didn't happen because we're on to bigger and brighter things. Um, we were very successful, um, but uh, it came at a little bit of a cost. We were very, very badly banged up by the time we got back to Bergen. So we've spent uh, several weeks making repairs and, uh, in the meantime, probably drinking a lot. Um, I, don't, I don't know what we would be drinking. What do they drink in Norway? I, I have no idea. Um, beer, probably everybody drinks beer, but... Um, mead? Mead! Yes, we've, we've been drinking mead and stroking our beards and honing our axes in, in preparation for another raid into the, into the plump, civilized lands to the south. That's what we've been doing. And, and actually, like the Vikings of old, I plan to take our longboat on a long journey to, to the south, to the lands of luxury and old empires. And probably we're going to die. But whatever. Um, let's take a quick look at the sub. We uh, haven't made really any upgrades or anything like that. I did kind of tinker with the torpedoes a little bit. Uh, I, in the privacy of my own room, I always tinker with my torpedo when no one can see. But um, we have uh, two of these loaded up, these um, acoustic torpedoes, and then we have another one here, and then we have a super fancy one here. Um, supposedly the Type 11, I don't think it was actually fired in warfare. I could be wrong about that. It could have been fired but not at a live target or something like that. So maybe we'll get this, uh, get this puppy running. I don't know. Um, we also have a few kind of oddball ones, like we have a, one of these, this is a little bit more, um, well, I think we've used this one before, it's actually a little bit more, um, you, you can adjust the angles on it a little bit more, um, finely than on these, and then we have a bunch of Type 3s, that'll do just fine. Uh, let's look at the crew very quickly, um, let's see... What to talk about in terms of crew? Well, White Mr. White Dragon 8 actually was transferred off. He said, enough is enough, and I'm just going to move on to bigger and brighter things on a bigger and brighter boat. I don't know. Piss on you. So we have a replacement. I'll have to uh, figure out who that is, uh, and I'll be renaming that person once we get to sea. Um, we had several awards to hand out. Dixon Balls got his uh, Iron Cross first and second class. Where is Dixon Balls? I have... I don't even know where Dixon Balls are. I mean, is. Well, he got those medals. And then, um, let's see. Uh, who else? Anybody else get a first class? Somebody else got a first class. You have to have a second class before you can get a first class. I I'm going to actually click through because I apparently did not write down who. It <laughs> Basically, my notes say. Here, Dixon Balls, Iron Cross First Class, and Second Class, and then same with Dixon Balls. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Well, also, uh, Fezzi got a Second Class. Fezzi over here. And uh, Rooster Dentures, somewhere in there, got... Oh, Clever Kilvania got his First Class. Good for you. Um, he also got a promotion. He's now a Stabzuberbootsman. <laughs> Probably to Germans that sounded like I threw up or something. Um, Hot Race Car 123, Two Gamers 57, and Hans Cosmo got promotions. Uh, I, I will try to promo or, uh, say the names of the ranks that they got. Hot Race Car and Two Gamers are now Matrosen Obergefreiters, and Hans Cosmo is a Matrosen Hauptgefreiter. <laughs> it's horrible, I'm sure. Um, and then I also gave Testicle... God, I can't find him. Oh, yeah, that's right. The way that I can tell. Testicle uh, got his qualification. He is a uh, helmsman. Oh, Testicle and Dixon Balls are different people. <laughs> this game is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Jesus. Dixon Balls, Testicles. We got just a complete mess going on here. I should actually put Testicle in the command <laughs> Christ. All right. So we've been assigned to a grid. I think it's, yeah, it's AN. Um, not so much interested in that. It is um, the end of December, and I believe that 
uh, the USSR is now knocking on Germany's doorstep. They are literally about to enter Germany. So things are getting pretty desperate. Um, I don't know how long this patrol is going to last, but uh, we might end up being stuck in Germany. This might be our last patrol, basically, once we come home. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how long this takes. And if we do get another patrol out of this, I will be very happy. If not, well, them's the breaks. But let's get started regardless, and I'll see you guys in uh, in our U-boat pen. Okay, folks, we're underway. Um, we've got our escort ahead of us leading us out. And so far, we have no sign of any planes. We're leaving in the middle of the night, so hopefully they won't bomb the ever-loving shit out of us. But who knows? So in the intro, I alluded to us going to the south. And that is exactly what I intend to do. I would like to uh, breach Gibraltar. Just saying that sounds stupid, but um, I want to go through here, and I would like to go as far through the Mediterranean as is reasonable. Now, what is reasonable? I'm not exactly the guy to ask, but um, as neat as a trip to Alexandria would be, I think that that's probably off the table. Um, I'm thinking more in terms of maybe Malta, which is also a really stupid idea, but uh, I want to head through here. There's probably still going to be some good shipping traffic through here. There's a lot of supplies um, heading in to Russia, actually, at this point, and also to uh, the southern front here in Italy. So I'm, I'm going to see what it's like. I actually haven't been in the Mediterranean in the late war. Of course, the, the Germans abandoned their, um, their bases in the Mediterranean by this point. So I don't think that they really had too many operations going on, especially because Gibraltar is here. <laughs> I don't think they had any of the Atlantic boats try to make that run. Uh, I will be trying. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, for now, though, uh, we need to focus on getting there. And uh, let's start by plotting an actual course here. Do, 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 do. Got another U-boat on its way out. Everybody's leaving in the cover of darkness. We're all doing our walks of shame, it would seem. All right, let's get going through. There, and there, and there. Alright, so I think um, a trip through the channel is really unadvisable. Um, I, I would like to possibly do that, but it seems kind of dangerous. So I'm going to go over the top of the pharaohs here. Like this. Yeah, and then we're going to just sprint down, maybe we'll take this in a little bit, like that, off the coast of Ireland, I think I was trying to do an Irish accent there, I don't know what happened, I got discouraged as soon as I started, so I think I sounded like somebody from Pennsylvania or something like that. Um, Gonna go along the uh, Portuguese coast into the Lusitanian Sea, and then <laughs> into the jaws of hell. Fantastic. We'll start with that, and of course we'll make adjustments. And I'll probably make a mistake and uh, try to change the course and end up deleting the whole fucking thing. But hey, it's a start. So that's the plan. Uh, we will definitely have the range to do it. We'll definitely have the time to do it. Um, of course, spoiler alert, but Germany surrenders um, next year. So, But it, we have several months before that happens. Well, a few months <laughs> before that happens. So um, that's the plan for now. Um, you know what? I don't have a watch officer on deck because uh, I told him to buzz off because he was going to uh, keep telling us about ships that I don't care about. But you know what? He might also tell us about planes that we care about. So far, no sign of them. Yep, we're good. So we're just going to press on. And uh, start heading towards <laughs> towards Gibraltar, which I'm sure puts a puts a you know a nice big smile on everybody's face here on the boat. Hey guys, we're going to Gibraltar. You're ignoring me. All right, well let's get going. I was just looking at the boats in the harbor, and then this came up. This is great. It was literally like. 10 seconds after I stopped recording. I really should know better. You know what, we're gonna fight it. 
Let's do this. None of my officers have... You know what, you guys actually, let's, while I'm here... <laughs> nope. Nope. There we go. Haven't even gotten the chance to rename my crewman yet! Thanks, game! I'm assuming they're coming out of the same area that they always do. It said 247? Or 274? Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's just that, you know, they're just sending us off. Go ahead and, uh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Get out of there! Fuck! That is annoying! That was bad. Well, we might clip them a little bit. One of them is going down. Oh, wow. Yeah, they weren't that close. That's our target there. We appear not to be hitting them that much, and I would actually really rather have us shooting at other stuff. Like this one here that's lagging behind. Which appears to be about to crash. I don't quite see what he's doing. It's a B-17, it looks like. Steep climb! It's always the best idea in these kinds of situations. Climb really steeply for no reason. Hey, so they're shooting at us. I'm gonna get under. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me personally, my crewmen, they're, they're, they can do whatever they want. Um, took some light damage here to the watchtower. Another plane's going down. Looks like our buddy here is taking some shots. Wow, that thing bounced like a fucking basketball. That's incredible. Rubber planes! A new allied innovation, apparently. Well, I think... Well, we're not shooting for sure, so... They must, uh... Must be breaking off. You can see them over in the distance there. Uh-oh. What are we shooting at? These tracers are freaking me out. I can't immediately tell where they're coming from. Oh, we're shooting at the one that's about to crash. Get him! That one's coming for us now. I think he's coming for the ground now, though. Yep. Adios. Yep, that, that's... dealt with. Okay. Let's take a look at the harbor and see what they did to us. A few planes over here. That's a Hulk that's been there for a while. That one's shooting. That... Piers to also be a Hulk that's been there for a while. Why did we put... <laughs> seems a little bit of a bad idea to put a star shell up to illuminate the U-boat sitting in the harbor for their easy targeting. But maybe the Allies put that there? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that thing is getting off the ground. Try as it might. All right. Well, our typical um, typical exit from Bergen has just happened, so we are none the worse for wear. We took a little bit of very, very minor damage, I think, but we're on our way again. Let's pay them back in kind. Well, not really. I mean, we're not going to be flying over them dropping bombs, but sort of. We are north of the Shetlands here, and it seems that we've attracted some attention. Uh, we're currently underwater. And we have a few warships heading north at a fairly brisk pace, actually. So this is a task force, but it looks like they're not going to catch us. Wahahaha. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're not going to get detected. I thought that was a little bit dicier than it really was, but I guess this gives me an opportunity to welcome aboard 
our newest crewman, Major Lee Useless, who is going to live up to his name because he's a medic, and we already have a medic. <laughs> so, yeah, we, I might have to get him a different qualification when we get back to port. Not that we're going to have another patrol for sure, but, you know, don't need a second medic, really. We don't really need a single medic, but, you know, it helps, I guess. So, yeah, um, we've got this going on. I wonder if I could take a peek at him. This might be risky. The seas are really calm, so at least they were when I dove. But that was hours ago. These aren't too bad. Keep clicking the wrong submenus. My god, 346. Long range. Can't see it. Some people have mentioned that task forces might be interesting for me to pursue. Uh, I find that they don't really have anything that interesting in them at this point in the war. The, they don't usually have battleships. They might have an escort carrier. They will usually at least have a cruiser or a light cruiser, but um, we could actually go look at it, I guess. Why not? 346 or so. I'll have us dive in the meantime. Vroom. Mostly just doing this to establish my point. So I really, rarely have seen anything of interest. Although... <laughs> Thanks, game. I think it's just about to prove me wrong. I do believe... That is a... That's a revenge class battleship. Or is it? Either way, it's a battleship. And I look like an asshole. Uh, there's a cruiser over there. And behind it is an escort carrier. I thought I saw something with a flight deck. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm imagining things. Either way, that sucks. Uh, they're going way too fast for us to catch up, though. So, I guess I stand corrected. Uh, maybe we will pursue task forces if we happen to run into them, but they're so dangerous. You saw multiple destroyers there. Uh, that's not a good situation to get yourself into. But for now, we're going to let these guys pass. And then, uh, maybe we'll see if there are other opportunities to pursue such mighty foes in the future. You know, I was kind of almost hoping that this wouldn't happen because I don't want to uh, use all my torpedoes before I even get into the Mediterranean, but with a convoy coming right at us, I think it's okay to uh, we'll go with four. We'll just go with the non-acoustics that we have loaded for this little uh, ensemble that's on its way to us. It's going seven knots and it is literally heading right for us right now. Sure, I'm going to draw a line of some kind. Actually, I should check the speed. Seven knots is about 13 clicks per hour. And they're really good and close. <laughs> to draw a course line to there to start. Um, it's been a little bit of time. So let's see. I should keep this up so I can see what the hell I'm trying to calculate here. 77 in six hours. And the timing is perfect. As you'll see, it's about 8 o'clock. Uh, well, actually, it's about almost 7 o'clock local time. So it's going to be dark by the time we meet up. We'll probably end up meeting up around here, here. That's my guess. Maybe here. So we'll just keep on trucking. And there's a task force over there. Uh, once we meet up with them, I'll let you guys know. Okay, here we go. We've got uh, radar signals that came in. So I have us under. We're at a pretty good depth. And I'm proceeding along this line. We did get a radio update actually. 
uh, not too long before we started getting the radar. Um, so I readjusted our line and slightly adjusted our course, but there we go. Now we're hearing them. And we'll just kind of wait to see how things pan out here. That's a warship there. I'm thinking that this is a good course, actually, because these appear to be leads. This is a flank, probably. Just a guess. We might want to bring that in just a little. I just want to get in the window between these two escorts on the corner here, the ones that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to move my mic a little bit. Real professional operation. I want to make sure that the sound quality is just absolutely perfect for this. I'm such a stickler for that. Okay. Let's see here. This would appear to be what we say in the business is a huge fucking convoy. This looks pretty big. Okay, so those are flanks, probably. Lead there. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit more. Just kinda have to thread the needle. Skin the cat. Bake the pie. Flip the bird. Scrub the toilet. All synonyms. All meaning the same thing. Um, a little concerned about him. I could do manual course adjustments on here, but I don't like to. I like to have a line. <laughs> on my map showing where I'm going. Kind of a helpful thing. Um, that might be too much, actually. Let's just, well, we'll see. If you mess this part up, you'll know about it pretty quickly because you'll start getting pinged. Because they will hear you. They're pretty magical about that. They, it's, it's, uh, okay, see that is frustrating to me. Because I'm at 68 meter, or 58 meters depth, I'm almost at 60 meters, and somehow they still heard me. <sighs> you know what, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really need to attack this convoy. It would be nice, but our mission is in the Mediterranean. So, rather than try to go hard charging into the convoy, I think I'm going to be prudent here. And change course here as they go over the top. That must be him, the one that we're hearing. No pinging. Got a window up, but... We're diving very, very fast. I've had a few people remind me that my sub can go pretty deep. It's not like I have to go... I, I try to stay in the green just because what can happen is if you get... If you get hit with a uh, 
depth charge, when you're at an extreme depth, it seems to magnify the amount of hull damage you take. So that's why I try to avoid it, but... Um, and there's also that. This game does an exceptional job of psyching you out for doing things like that. That noise that you just heard, that just... Oh, that makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. I hate that. I just hate it. Hearing our hull buckle, it's just... Ugh. That is fucking horrible. I hate that so much. Oh my god. Ugh. Well, in lighter news, um, we appear not to be getting pinged anymore. But we've got them running around over the top. This is approximately where we dropped off the, uh, the uh, decoy, so maybe they're going to hover around that for a while. I'm just going to keep heading south for a bit. Like I say, I don't need to attack this convoy, so if I don't, don't be surprised. Um, and just basically count us lucky that we're alive. We could theoretically surface and make an attack, but like I say, I, I don't care enough. So, uh, And they're on alert anyways. It's going to be hard to hit targets. So, Oh my, what's this? Oh, that's right. They, That'll pop up regardless. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys hopefully in a less um, depth-chargey situation here in a bit.